I can hold it, I just am not in position. Oh, shit. Come on, Camila, let's go. <laughs> Why do you look so creepy? It's raging. It's raging. We were huddled by the fire. It's a very cold morning. I'm drinking our warm drink. Look at this cup that Nicole, I got from Nicole at the um, local shop here in town with the local artist. It has a beautiful mermaid kissing a fish. I don't this... want to drop it, but it wraps around. It's very beautiful. I got this cup for you at the local shop. This is local Vancouver Island artist, Yvonne Maximchuk. Yeah. And uh, we also got some of her books too. Mm -hmm. She's like an artist and writer. Very beautiful. And then you got me a First Peoples Orca. Yeah, I got that on the ferry. I guess it sounds cool. It is, look at it, it's cool, I love it. <laughs> anyway, so today is town day. We are going into town. Yes, thank you. I love this cup. We are low on food and supplies, so I thought it'd be cool to take you guys along for the ride, show you our boat ride into town. And folks out there watching our vlog, you know, the vlog has gotten popular in recent days, but people that have followed me and my gardening journey for a while, I know they know that I want a garden and we want a garden. Um, so it's really hard when I hear Nicole say we're running low on food because the only reason why we're running low on food is because I've been trying to build us the other amenities out here. Nicole and I both have been trying to build them. Shelter, power, water. But starting in the spring of 2020. Um, it's gardening time. It's gardening time. But anyway, I'm filming this on my phone. Sorry if it's a little grainy and the audio is low, but we just I just decided last minute, let's vlog today. It's pretty good. And take you guys into town, but I gotta put my arm down because it's like, it's, it's hurt. My shoulder blade is burning <laughs> off my body right now. <laughs> It's starting to shake. Okay, goodbye guys, and uh, let's go into town today. Let's go. Okay, first part of our journey, check. See, if you guys are new to our channel, we don't just hop in the car and go to the store. We have to drive to the dock. Well, load up a bunch of stuff, drive to the dock, and get in the boat and drive. Yeah, it's a whole ordeal. So now we're at the boat. We're gonna load up the boat and get going. Take a step forward to the rising sun 
Petals of light and dust that shine till dawn I long to wander out the timeless in the world unknown It might be only one with these thoughts I don't wanna be alone My soul yearns for the adventure up probably the scariest boat ride ever and it was so calm the waves were perfect that fog was very scary it's great it was great yeah that was awesome oh my gosh we know the way and I just pulled out the GPS on my phone and I because we were in the middle we were coming out of this um, part of the land that's very narrow and we shot into the bigger ocean mm -hmm. and then the whiteout hit us so like honestly <laughs> If we didn't have our GPS, we, would, we wouldn't have been able to figure out how to get to where we were going. And I didn't at first, so all of a sudden when I turned on the GPS, I had turned 90 degrees to the right, um, and I didn't even realize that I had done that, yeah. because I couldn't tell, like one degree off and I'm making a circle. So the GPS was necessary, it got us right next to the land, and I just skirted the land the whole way to our destination. Yeah, that was really scary. It was fun. It was epic. <laughs> Definitely one for the books. We are in our second vehicle, heading into town. The first stop that we normally go to when we first get to town is the cafe. The cafe is wonderful, it's awesome. They have a little gift shop or a little gift boutique upstairs. A lot of like handmade- um, Local artists. Local perhaps. artists, yeah. It's really beautiful up there. And then the cafe down below and then downstairs they have a bookstore, which is really nice. I've gotten a couple books from there. Jake's gotten me a couple of books and a coloring book because I like to color. The boutique features local artists who make a lot of handcrafted things. Yeah, it's really nice. So we normally go there first. We'll spend a couple of hours there. I upload videos. Um, we uh, just, you know, check all of our emails and whatnot. Not like we can't do it at home, but it's just really nice to be able to use internet, which is a lot faster. And then we uh, just do our errands after that. You know, we hit up the grocery store, the hardware store, we'll get a bite to eat and all that, so, yeah. And the goal for me is in 2020 to eliminate the grocery store. Yeah. Um, from our list of things to that do. That definitely is on our, yeah. And then also to eliminate the diesel fuel for the Spirit Bear van. We have the white van because I want to have a, a tank out there that recycles 
vegetable oil into fuel for the diesel. Yeah. So coming up in 2020, if you stick with us and you subscribe, we'll be uh, running a car on veggie oil and growing. I mean, I want to say right here, we're going to grow a world-class garden. It's going to be epic. Hey guys, how's it going? Jake has been working hard trying to get the roof on the first patio, huh Jake? Yes, just this roof is gonna be, um, I don't like this term, but it's gonna be a game changer for Nicole and I because it's gonna allow us to take off our clothes and shoes out of the yurt, which will keep the yurt much more clean. The yurt's a small space, yeah. 800 square feet or so, and, and it'll be a second place to keep firewood because underneath the deck, once the roof's up, It'll be completely out of the rain and we'll store all of our firewood over here, right um, outside the yurt under the deck. Yeah, this is a weird angle. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys, this pile of firewood right here is gonna be going underneath the patio once we get the roof on there, cause that is just, ugh, I hate the tarp and all that. But we're just doing that temporary until we can get it underneath the porch. Yeah, so after this, after these guys are all screwed in, then I'm gonna put a center support beam across the top, and that's gonna be the highest point. And then two more boards under here, and then just run supports off of them like a little teepee, like that. And then I'm gonna try to mill our own shingles, long shingles, like 15 feet long mill our own out of wood around here and come along for the ride, let's see. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, a lot of strength. Here we go, one, two, three. Oh God. You got the skinny end. I just don't think I can put it up on my shoulder. Okay, well you gotta flip it around then. I turn around. <clears throat> okay, put your end on the ground. And readjust. Readjust what? Well, let's get just, you can just pick up little spurts toward me. We gotta get this close to the top. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. Okay, more, one more. Ready and go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now come up toward me a little bit on three. One, two, three. Okay. Am I gonna hit it yet? No. Okay, we're getting closer, right? Yeah. Is my heel off the step? What? Is my heel off the step? Yeah. Okay. So on three. A little bit farther, just like a foot farther. One, two, three. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, a little further. Here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, now get up here with me. Can you reach it from up on the top step? Get up. So we're gonna we're gonna go up here and then move it over and then we'll touch right there. I'm leaning against it. Okay. Okay. Can you touch it? No. Cause ladder up here then. There you go. Okay, let's push up above the blocks. One, two, three. Get it over here. Okay, hold on. Let's move it over together. Okay, now you get your ladder. Move it over here. Let go. Okay, can you push into me? One, two, three. One, two, three. Go. Yes. Great job, babe. You're a beast. Okay, now we can rest for a second and then I'll get on the ladder and I'll push that end up and we'll just slide. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this and put it up and rest it on my head. That's super strong. 
and then we're going to slowly walk up the ladder and then you're going to keep pressure on the end going forward so that none of this slips off the beam and crushes in the deck and cracks everything in. Okay, so together first, let's go, you go on this side, and this side, and we have to like pick up, we also have to move P pressure forward because it's going to want to kick off. Okay, I'm going to get my fingers kind of like on the end here so I can really keep that pressure forward. Okay, so we have to work together. <clears throat> on three, one, two, three. Uh oh, stop. It's sliding that way. There's no way you can catch it. Don't put yourself in the, in the way of it. All right, this is take two. We're going to work together. <laughs> work together. Get it on my head. I'll walk up the ladder with it. You keep the pressure on the end going forward. And see if I can stand up here high enough to where I can like push it. Okay, here we go. So we'll go together. You ready? Yep. Okay. Dogs are clear. All right. On three. One, two, three. Push it. Okay, let me have this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I know, get to my... Okay, I got it. I don't really want you in the end yet. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, let's go forward together. One, two, three. Uh, hold on, drop it down because I can't get it on my head. Okay, let's keep the angle down. Hold it down farther. Okay, on three, go up there. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like where you are. Okay. I'm doing, you're taking all the weight. I'm doing nothing. I know, but different. I have to roll with the punches. Uh, hold on. Where's the end? Okay. Let go, because I'm stronger. Yeah, I, can, I can hold it, I just am not in position. Yeah. Oh, shoot! You need to let go. Get it up to here, then you can pull down. Okay. okay. Now let me get it kind of high up there first. Okay. okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. <sighs> pull. Now. Can you hold on? Hold it. Just hold on. Okay, get the, get the, I'm gonna hold this. You get the stool in position. Right there, good. Okay, get strong. Wrap your hand maybe once. And hold that. Can you hold it? Yep. You sure? Yep. Oh, okay. oh, oh. I got it, I got it with you. We'll do it together. Don't pull, you just pull down. I almost had it there. So I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna take some weight off of you. Oh. <laughs> okay, now take your rope off and get it on here on the end. You got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Should we go with a thicker one? Thicker one. <laughs> Post? Yeah. I think you can let go now. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll go with your rope. I don't know, I think it should be thicker and heavier. <laughs> I'm not taking that down. <laughs> yeah. Is okay? that gonna, yeah. 
How about you? Join us next time on Jake and Nicole Off Grid. We continue working hard on the roof for our front entrance. It looks great. Five eighths inch carriage bolts, two by six is pressure treated with. Which includes cutting down some trees so we can mill our own shingles. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.